simulation is incredible. It continues to transform and improve the engineering world in amazing ways. I am John Duffin, and I am one of the simulation experts over in our Atlanta office, and I'm excited to talk to you about what's new with SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2023. As you can see, this sewing machine has lots of moving parts that all need to work together perfectly to function and ensure reliability. For something as commonplace as a sewing machine, it's amazing how complex of a mechanical system it is. So, pun absolutely intended, let's see how the new enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2023 can help us gain deep insight into some of these complex mechanical systems. Let's isolate and zoom in on the presser foot assembly. We can see that this handle uses a cam and follower design to raise the foot away from the fabric. The follower is held in place by a strong spring that holds the fabric down while sewing. Our design requires that the spring is strong enough to keep enough pressure on the fabric, but not too strong, making it difficult to raise the lever. We need to test multiple spring stiffnesses until we get it right. For a long time in SOLIDWORKS simulation, we've been able to run design studies to help automate the process to answering engineering questions like this. But since there's a slide in contact in this simulation, we could see long solve times when we run the analysis. And that solve time multiplies when you have to run it many times to investigate design changes. But now in SOLIDWORKS simulation 2023, there's a sweet new adjustment called contact penalty stiffness. This option will trade some local accuracy around the area of contact for much faster solve times. This is a great option for validating setup on complicated assemblies or running multiple iterations in search for an optimized design. In this head-to-head -head comparison, when the contact penalty stiffness is set to its lowest value, the simulation runs significantly faster. After you find the optimal design, you can change the penalty stiffness back to the highest level to get accurate results in the area of contact as well. This is personally one of my favorite enhancements of Simulation 2023 because it will value, allow you to evaluate designs at a speed that has previously not been possible. Looking at the needle bar assembly, we want to ensure the needle clamp is strong enough to take on the repetitive forces from the needle. To simplify this assembly, we'll remove the set screws from the analysis. New in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2023, we have more flexibility when creating bonded contacts between non-touching faces at extreme angles to one another. Like the threaded holes for this set screw and the flat cutout of the needle bar. You can add this bonded connection without any additional setup. One important note is that it doesn't matter if these sewing machine files came from the new 3D Experience app in the cloud with XShape and the design apps, or if they came from your typical desktop SOLIDWORKS. They can all be used back and forth in collaboration with each other. The upper shaft assembly has several plastic injection molded parts with complex geometry that could require some advanced meshing and mess investigation. In the training classes I teach, I go over all of the primary tools to help validate your setup, but some of these tools could be difficult to find if you didn't remember exactly where they were. New in the command manager is the diagnostic tools flyout menu that provides quick access to important tools to validate your study, like the mesh quality diagnostics. We quickly detect some poor quality elements that will require mesh refinement to ensure accurate results. For those using SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional and higher, the under constrained bodies command, which is used to help validate and troubleshoot your simulation setup, has been greatly improved. The solver now performs a singular value decomposition which basically means that it's a ton faster than previous versions and supports contact interactions. We'll also see far more realistic feedback of complex under constrained systems like this thread take up mechanism. And for some premium users, the virtual linkage rod connector, which was introduced last year, is now available for non-linear static and dynamic studies. It will work perfect here to help simplify the analysis and speed up runtime. Changing end conditions, offsetting the link, and dimensioning the rod will replicate its exact function in the analysis. SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2023 will speed up the analysis process with new enhancements for every designer. Contact problems will run faster than ever, bonded contacts between non-touching faces are more flexible to use, and enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Professional and Premium allow for quick investigation of boundary conditions and powerful simplification tools to get your job done fast. Simulation continues to answer engineering questions in ways and speeds that used to not be possible. I'm excited to see and help you use simulation and these new simulation tools on your upcoming projects.